Hi guys, my name is Goya. Welcome to my channel. Today, I want to challenge myself to follow the 2019 winter trends without buying anything new. I usually don't care about trends, but I think it will be interesting to try to incorporate them from time to time. And most likely, these trends are already in my closet. I'm using Vogue Friends as the guide. They listed 17 trends in total, and I'm going to pick 12 and try to make it work. All right, the first trend is Mujois. It's a return to elegance, think we find silhouettes with culottes, blazers, tailoring, and trench coats. Haha, -ha, this one is right up my alley because I love the bougie look. I really like the Burberry look on the right, so I'm going to try to recreate it. The key piece here is a trench coat, and I do have a trench coat. I don't have any brown heels, so I'm wearing these black strap heels instead. I'm tying my hair back and wearing some gold earrings. She's wearing yellow gloves, but I'll just wear these brown leather gloves because they go really well with the trench coat. As for the bag, I'm using this Louis Vuitton bag because the whole point is bougie. I'm borrowing the cat eye sunglasses look from the left because I happen to have a pair of those. Am I bougie yet? This trend is the 80s. The 80s has been pretty big for a while now. Glitter and shoulder pads included, and nightclub style out of Studio 54 or Palace. Ooh, I don't have anything exactly the same, but I do have something with similar vibes. I'm wearing this black velvet dress with puff sleeves and rhinestone button details. This dress is kind of similar to the silhouette in the photo on the right, and I'm also wearing my fishnet pantyhose. I'm really excited that I can wear these black glitter boots. I've had them for years and I've barely worn them. I'm wearing these large gold button earrings and my rhinestone necklace to add more sparkles. And here's my 80s look. This trend is houndstooth. Dominating silhouettes from head to toe, high contrast houndstooth, a fusing of retro spirit with androgynous allure. I love this. I do have a houndstooth tweed jacket, but I don't have the bottoms. You know what, I think I can still make it work. I'm starting off with a white bow tie silk blouse to create a look similar to the Gucci one in the middle. Since I don't have houndstooth pants, I'm wearing these black wide leg pants to keep a similar silhouette. However, I actually still have these houndstooth heels that I bought years ago. How's that for prophecy? The final piece is of course the houndstooth tweed jacket. I'm buttoning it up and leaving the bow tie outside. I also really like the beret in the picture on the right, so I'm adding a beret as well. I think I nailed this look. This trend is check. Okay, when I first looked at the photos, I didn't like it at all. It's too colorful and too bulky, but the description says um, the potential for variation around such a simple motive is vast. So it could be any kind of check, really. I'm starting off with a black turtleneck and these gray suit pants with very subtle small checks. And I'm wearing these black croc leather boots. Then I'm adding this grey check blazer as the key piece. I never thought of wearing this blazer and these pants together, but they seem to work out really well. I'm also wearing my favorite sunglasses. And here's the check trend. It's a lot more classic than the ones on the runway, but that's my style. This trend is the shoulder pads. It's also from the 80s, I don't know why this is a separate trend. Uh, make the shoulders the focal point of creativity, whether square, sharp, or shamelessly voluminous. I'm pretty excited about this one. I bought a secondhand dress suit from the rear wheel just a couple months ago. This is the red dress from the set. And I'm putting on my best boots. And here comes the red blazer with shoulder pads. I'm adding some gold hoop earrings as accent jewelry. When I first bought this set, I thought the shoulders were a bit too big. You know, I'm very particular about how the shoulders fit. And my friend was like, no, it's supposed to look like that. So now I happen to own the 80s shoulder pass trend. All right, this trend is couture tailoring. The 
Tuxedo is making comeback. We are undergoing a couture renaissance with chic sleeve detailing, sculpted shoulders, and sequins. Ooh, I don't have anything remotely similar to the ones in the pictures, but I do own a blazer with a strange shape. Okay, here's the blazer with a super wide off shoulder lapel. It's double breasted, so it kind of has that tuxedo vibe. I'm pairing this with just a pair of simple suit pants like the ones in the photos, and I'm wearing these block heel ankle boots to create a longer and leaner silhouette. I'm tying my hair back to emphasize the neckline. I really like the choker in the Alexander McQueen photo on the left, so I'll wear a choker necklace too. Well, I actually really like this look. This is the faux fur trend again. Okay, so it's more than just the trend. Its prominence on the runway is symptomatic of the fashion world's growing environmental awareness. I don't have anything as crazy as the ones in the photos, but I do have a faux fur vest that I never wear. I'm starting off with a white turtleneck and a pair of white wide leg pants as the base, and I'm matching them with these white sling bags. Then I'll wear my white faux fur vest on top, I think the same color scheme creates a really coherent look. I'm also adding these white frame cat eye sunglasses because it looks more fierce. I'm still missing some volume on my head, so I'll add my white hat. How's that? It's a bit flamboyant for my taste, but I might actually start dressing like this. This is the preppy trend. I like preppy. Anything bougie, I like it. Teddy, cargo pants, sailing shoes, assumed ties, culottes, tweed and moccasins. I'm going to try to recreate a blend of the three in the photos. I'm starting with a white shirt, just like the Gucci look in the middle, and I'm borrowing the brown houndstooth element from the Etro blazer on the left by wearing these houndstooth pants. And I'm wearing my black Oxford. Finally, I'm adding my houndstooth blazer. It's the same set as the houndstooth pants. I like the aviator sunglasses in the Celine photo on the right, so I'm wearing my aviator sunglasses too. And here's my preppy look. Okay, this trend is exaggerated volume. What the heck is that? It's a question of size, especially when it comes to shoulders and sleeves. I don't understand why, but okay. I'll try to recreate the look on the right. Um, of course, I don't have anything ridiculous like that, but I do have an oversized coat, so that'll do. Here's my oversized black coat that I wear pretty much every day in winter. And I have these black lace-up boots that's a bit similar to the ones in the photo. And that's it. This is basically what I look like in winter anyway just a ball of black objects rolling around. This trend is dominatrix. Oh god, what? Black leather, vine, cages, and corsets. I don't understand how this is a trend for winter. These are literally just leather dresses with spaghetti straps. But let's do it! I'm wearing this super old leather dress. It's so tight, I can't even breathe. And I'm wearing these super high heel platform boots that I haven't touched for years. I'm tying my hair like the photos on the left and right, and I'm adding this choker with rhinestones. I'm also wearing my shades because who's this? I don't know her. Well, here's the dominatrix look. This trend is called climate change. Uh, a little confused by the looks. It's a direct response to our climate reaching crisis point with voluminous quilted jackets and strange hybrid creations. Yes, I would say this is looking rather strange. I guess I'm just going to wear whatever. Okay, I'm wearing my oldest quilted jacket. In fact, it just turned 12 this year. And I'm wearing jeans underneath because the model in the photo on the right is wearing jeans. And I'm wearing my rain boots because when shit happens, I imagine there will be flooding. 
they're all wearing some sort of things on their heads. So I'm wearing my black and white silk scarf on my head as well. Wait, I have to wear my shades too because I do not want to witness this. Actually, the look turned out pretty stylish. Alright, the last trend is lingerie. Pair a retro vintage silhouette with lace and baby doll detailing. I think I can recreate a similar kind of silhouette as the one on the right. I'm pairing my layered sleeves white blouse with my black satin dress because this dress has this bra shape situation here and I'm wearing these black ankle boots. I'm also tying my hair up and wearing my hoop earrings. It's not exactly the same as the photos but that's the closest thing I have and I'm pretty happy with this. Well, that was fun. Which trend is your favorite? Leave me a comment below. It's so refreshing to realize that you can actually wear trends without buying anything new. You just need to get creative with different ways to wear clothes. Speaking of that, I did make a video about 10 ways to wear one single white shirt. I'll leave the link below, make sure to check out the video. If you haven't subscribed already, subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.